Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to Man Cave Meals. About a year ago, I bought a cheap Chinese chamber sealer off of eBay, and I did a, a demo and review video on that. Uh, the things worked okay, but there's a couple of minor things I don't like about it, so I decided to buy another chamber sealer, and I've bought the Avid Armor chamber sealer that retails for $5.99. I bought it on Amazon and it arrived this week. So I want to show you this chamber sealer and I'm really happy with it. I've already bagged up about 50 bags of things with it. It's working great and it's doing a lot better than the Chinese one that I bought. There's a couple of things I didn't like about that DZ260C and I don't have those same problems with this one and I'll show you what those are as we go but let me get that sealer out and let's have a look at it. So this is the Avid Armor Ultra Series Chamber Sealer. Like I said, I just received this this week. I've unboxed it. I've played with it. And I'm replacing one of the cheap... Chinese DZ260C vacuum sealers that I bought on eBay for about $350. I paid $5.99 for this one on Amazon. It cost almost twice as much as the other, but I'm really happy with what I'm getting here so far. This vacuum sealer has a slightly smaller footprint overall than the other, and it's a lot lighter weight. This thing weighs in at about 35 pounds, and the other one is well over 60 pounds and the other one is taller top to bottom i don't know that the actual footprint is much smaller i think this one's smaller front to back but it's about the same width as the other one the control panel on the avid armor is very simple and straightforward on the left it has a gauge that will show you how much vacuum is being pulled in the chamber and then it's got the uh, vacuum time and the seal time settings uh, the uh, vacuum time will set in five second increments and the seal time will set in one second increments. When this came in, the default seal time was set to 50 seconds with a five second seal time for the bags. And five second seal time is their recommendation for your standard three mil uh, vacuum seal bags. The cancel button on the control panel just allows you to stop anything that's in progress on the machine. The auto vac and seal button uh, runs the program that you have set up here. It'll run the vacuum for the set amount of time and the seal for the set amount of time. The seal button performs two functions. Uh, if you are running the auto vac and seal program and decide you want to stop it and seal it before it finishes, you just hit the seal button and it'll do just that. It'll stop midstream, seal the bag, and let you have it back. The seal button also used by itself will put a seal on one end of the bag if you're making your own bags from a roll. The marinate feature here allows you to do a 99 second marination cycle uh, where you don't seal a bag. You can just put a, a container in there with your food marinade in it and it will reduce the chamber pressure to uh, what we call speed marinade your food. The sealer bar on this unit is a nice wide sealer bar and it measures 11 and a half inches left to right which is much better than the one I had. The one I had was just at 10 inches which made it a little challenging to seal the 10 inch wide bag. This guy will seal an 11 inch wide bag with no problem. Uh, this, the chamber that we're working in here can handle probably an 11 by 14 bag without any difficulties at all. And here's a view of the entire sealing chamber. Uh, but between the uh, sealer bar and the back, we have just a little over 11 inches. And like I said here, we're going at 12 inches wide in that direction. But I think 10 by 13 bags, I've already sealed some 10 by 13 bags in here with no problem at all. I typically use 8 by 10 bags, which are uh, really easy to do. But I, like I said, I think you can get an 11 by 14 bag in here without any trouble. You can be able to seal something as long as you can get it in the bag and fit it in. This chamber sealer has a really nice, heavy, thick glass top, 
I really like that. It's got a nice solid feel to it and a nice clean window you can see through here uh, that's easy to clean. It's not plexiglass like the old one and uh, it's going to do a really nice job. On the bottom side of the glass door you have this sealer bar that comes down and it makes contact with your uh, sealer bar to help the bag seal. And this is rubber and one of the things I noticed is this thing will slide in here just a little bit and you're going to want to make sure that that's centered up. And we're going to talk about that here in just a moment. Another thing that I really like about this sealer is these plastic tabs that are here in the front underneath that holding bar. There's three plastic tabs here and I want to show you how these work. Uh, we're going to set up a demo seal here. I'm just going to toss my tape measure here in an 8 by 10 bag because that's what I have convenient and we'll do a demonstration. I raise this bar and this bag, the two tabs on the right, the bag is supposed to go on top of those two tabs but the middle tab is elevated a little bit and you want it to go inside the bag where it will keep the bag open during the process and then we just close this and that magnetically holds the bag in place above the sealer bar. Having that bag held open in the middle by that tab is what allows the chamber to create the low pressure inside and outside the bag. So when you're ready to seal, you just close the lid and press the auto vac and seal button. And I'm just gonna let this uh, go. This one is slightly noisier than the one I had, but I'm okay with that. That's not a big problem and it makes uh, you know, a maintenance free motor. That's the other thing I like about this is this motor does not require any oil changes or anything. It's totally maintenance free. So as we're winding down here, our timer will count down and then our vacuum seal will seal the bag. And in just another second, it'll release the pressure And then we can pull the lid back open, have a look. And we've got a perfectly sealed bag with our tape measure in there. I'm gonna do another one with this so you can watch through the window on the top of the chamber. Okay, I've loaded up another one, so we'll start the process. And it's still set for 35 seconds on the vacuum and five seconds on the seal and it will vacuum all the air out of the chamber and the bag and then what happens is it seals the bag and once it seals the bag it allows the normal atmospheric pressure back into the chamber which creates the vacuum inside of the bag so we've got about eight seconds left in the process here so here we go three two one and now it's sealing the bag and you can just watch it it creates that nice tight vacuum and at 35 seconds with a five second seal we have a, a super tight vacuum it's almost mold fitted around this you can make it go longer if you want to but for uh, my uses like I said it looks like we've got you know a 35 five times working real well here there's no sense in really running it any harder than needed and when the ceiling's done you have a nice edge to edge double seal on this bag. I really like that feature. There's only one thing I've found that I'm not totally happy with on this chamber sealer so far, but it's by far not a showstopper because I had to do this on my other one as well. One of the things that I've found is that when I start the vacuum process, I need to put my hand on here and give it a little push to get the vacuum started. I'm not sure what or why, I've got this uh, top gasket lined up here, but when you set this down, it won't form enough of a seal in most cases to start the vacuum. I'm going to see if I can demonstrate that here by starting one. And as you can see, it's, it's doing it. It's not, it's not pulling a vacuum. I'm going to have to push down on it a little bit there to get the vacuum started. Sometimes it will occasionally work without me doing that and other times it won't. So 
Uh, I'm not really sure what what the issue is there, but I'm, I'm not real worried about that. Since I'm standing here anyway, I can just hold it down, but that's just a, a minor detail that uh, I saw that, like I said, it's the only thing I've found in the hundred or so bags I've sealed so far that I don't like about the machine. In the box, when this thing arrived, the gasket that you see that runs around here, there's an extra one of these in a package in the box, and there's an extra heater assembly in the box. So I guess if you ever have a problem with either one of those, you've got an easy replacement that comes with it. So that's kind of nice. I vacuum seal a lot of stuff. So my vacuum sealer is my most frequently used accessory in my cooking because I'm cooking and I'm making leftovers all the time, putting them in the freezer. I'm buying larger quantities and breaking them down and saving them with the food, or not the food saver, but with the chamber sealer. So I need something that's reliable, something that's gonna last, something that I can depend on. This unit comes with a one year warranty, but also in the packaging, there's some uh, information about if you do a review for them on Amazon or do some pictures and a video to go along with that review, they'll extend your warranty to two years. So I'm very happy with that. And like I said, I've tried to put this guy through the ringer as much as possible in the last couple days to make sure I'm not giving you any bad information. And like I said, I've sealed somewhere in the neighborhood of 100 bags with this already, and uh, I'm very happy with it. So if any of that should change, I'll come back and let you know, but I think this is going to be a great addition to the Man Cave. So until next time, this is John Setzel with Man Cave Mules.